Hey guys, this is Austin. This might be the most rugged laptop you'll find for $200. So this is the ASUS Chromebook C202S. Now on top of being a rugged laptop, it's also got pretty decent specs for $200. Inside the box, we're really not going to be getting a lot. We get part of the power cable as well as the laptop itself. Take a look at it, and what you're getting here for about the same price as most cheap laptops and Chromebooks is something that should be a lot more durable. So it's got this rubber coating that goes all the way around the edges, which should especially help for drops. Open this guy up, and something else interesting is the keyboard. So this is water resistant. So no, you should not go swimming with your brand new laptop. But for example, if you drop a drink on it, it should be fine. So while it might be just a little bit on the thicker side, there's not a lot of compromise in the design. So you still have full articulation of the actual display itself, and you also have a pretty solid selection of ports, including a pair of USB 3.0 as well as HDMI out. The C202 is rocking an 11.6 inch 1366 by 768 display. Now it's not IPS, so you have to keep your expectations a little bit lower. However, I've looked at a lot of these cheaper laptops, and this is not a bad display. Viewing angles are acceptable, color's pretty decent, it's not going to blow you away, but it's totally usable. So for the most part, you're probably gonna wanna pick up one of these guys. The speakers are not amazing. So a big part of that is because since this is a rugged laptop, the speakers are sort of tucked here on the sides and they're a little bit recessed. They sound okay, but you're probably gonna wanna pick up some headphones. Something a little bit odd is that even though it has an Intel Pentium sticker on it, it's actually powered by a Celeron N3060 processor. Now that paired with four gigabytes of RAM means that this is plenty powerful enough for Chrome OS, but the fact that it's got the wrong thing on it is a little bit weird. The keyboard is a little bit mushy, but since it's water resistant, I'll give it a pass there. And it does have a good layout with nice spacing. The trackpad is a little bit on the, I don't wanna say erratic side, it's just maybe not quite as precise as I'd like. But again, this is a $200 rugged computer. You're not buying this for the amazing typing experience. What you do wanna pick it up for is to see whether it can actually survive falling off your desk or getting hit by a water balloon. The idea is that this is a good laptop for school or work. So not only is it a Chromebook, so you have the full browser as well as stuff like Google Docs, but ASUS claims that it can survive a three foot drop. For example, if you knock it off a table or desk, but let's put that to the test. Three, two, one. Oh! That hurt. It looks okay though. So there's a little bit of scuff on the rubber. Yeah, it's a little beat up here. Doesn't sound good, but the laptop still works. So maybe not something you wanna do with your laptop all the time, but it was a pretty decent drop and it did survive. This is not a waterproof laptop. The idea is, is that if you accidentally say, knock your drink on the keyboard, it should be able to survive. Three, two, one. It looks like it still works, the screen's still on. So, well, the trackpad's not exactly working, but yo, totally works. We are good to go. I mean, it's really wet right now and you probably wanna let this dry out, but <laughs> the laptop still works. Time to take it up a notch. So this is in no way meant to be able to survive a water balloon, but since it's done well so far, let's see. I'm kinda nervous right now. <laughs> uh, take two, take two. <laughs> I got a little nervous. Don't worry about it. Three, two, one. Oh! Yo, it's still alive. I mean, it's completely soaking wet. Oh, we've got a little bit of like screen bleed here. So it's maybe not in the greatest shape ever, but it's still alive. Screen has uh, seen better days, but this is a properly rugged laptop for $200. Yo, it just died. It died? I think it actually just died. So after drying out overnight, the Chromebook has come back to life. So if you look, there's a little bit of damage to the screen, so this is probably going to be permanent. But of course, this is not meant to be able to handle a water balloon to the screen. It's more for things like spills and drops. So as always, I'll have a link to check this guy out in the description. And I'm curious, what do you guys think about the Chromebook? Let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one. Shh. It'll all be over soon, little guy. Don't you worry.